hi my lovelies welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to see you i hope you are doing amazingly well so i have um affordable affordable niche perfumes now buy niche perfumes it can be quite pricey some of them are quite pricey but it also depends on where you're buying it from so i'm going to share where you can buy these perfumes and i'm also going to share quite a few perfumes here that i personally find to be affordable especially in comparison to designer perfumes because designer perfume prices have just gone so up right now i don't know what they think they are doing i went online the other day to buy um the new um angel elixir and i couldn't believe the price i could not believe the price i had to, i had to not buy it because i was just like i'm not paying that much money for a perfume that i've heard from so many people say it has no connection to the original angel and i was looking for the original angel with less patchouli that's what i was hoping for i'm still going to try that perfume but i could not believe the prices it's insane so i've got a few perfumes here amazing perfumes here that are affordable to an extent i think a lot of them you can get them for about 100 pounds or less i have discount codes to share as well so anyway let's just jump in the first perfume i have been talking about this perfume for the last like three years because i've been on youtube consistently for about three years now and these perfumes guys are amazing this particular one is a gem in my collection and this is 402 by bond perfumer this perfume has vanilla, sandalwood, and um, caramel in there. And that's exactly what it smells like. This is a true gourmand that isn't cloying. This is a fantastic, fantastic perfume for the price. They have so many in this range. They all come um, numbered. And you can literally see what the notes are in the perfume in front of the bottle, which is fantastic. Loads of places you can buy this. Look fantastic. There are so many companies, third party websites you can buy this perfume. I got this in PR. This was like my first ever PR. When I, I think I had like 500 subscribers at the time. And I absolutely fell in love. I couldn't believe they reached out to me. I was like little old me for a whole big ass 100 mil <laughs> perfume. So this perfume, although I could have finished it a long time ago, I chose not to finish it because it holds a very special place in my heart because of the sentiments that have attached to it but this is a fantastic scent it lasts long and i got a hundred mil which i don't know the prices of it but i will leave everything that i've not mentioned in the video in my description bar below so make sure you check everything out this is amazing it's once again 402 by bomb perfumer now the next perfume you guys know about this brand they are everywhere they have incredible perfumes and it's Kayali now some might argue is Kayali niche or not but people are mixing Kayali with Uda Beauty yes Uda Beauty was created by Uda whereas um, Kayali is Mona's baby so Kayali only do perfumes and they do some I think they have like a body cream and that's it so for me they fall under the niche category now I bought my perfume I think this was 50 pounds it's normally around 70 something pounds which is amazing for a niche perfume because you're getting um, 30 mil of Prada Paradox for like 55 pounds so you can kind of do the math there now sweet diamond pink pepper is my favorite kayali this is a sweet rose spicy a little bit woody but there's no wood in this perfume but it gives me that woody woody kind of vibe to it i am so in love with this perfume it literally just evokes such happiness in me when i spray this now i got mine from asos and at the time that i purchased my perfume they had a 25% discount going on. So if you can get these kind of perfumes when there's a discount going on on places like ASOS, um, even Uda Beauty website, Kayali website, they have discounts going on all the time. Like I see, you can just literally go on Google and type in discount code for this brand, discount code for that brand. And you get so many, just have to test and try all of them out in order to save some coins. I never buy anything 
without checking online if there's a discount going on somewhere and even some banking apps like i bank with a lot of banks but there's a particular one that i bank with that will tell you how much discounts you can get off using your card on this brand or going to a restaurant or whatever you get money off so don't just go ahead and buy without doing your research and finding out where you can get discounts from even a lot of youtubers have discounts for different companies and they will always leave it in the description bar below so check everywhere before paying full price to me for me that's the secret to getting a good bargain when it comes to niche perfumes looking for your discount codes um like i said i got mine from asos Kayali is everywhere. They are Sephora. Sephora always have discounts. And when you spend a certain amount on Sephora, they give you like vouchers. Like right now, I think I have like 40 pounds worth of Sephora vouchers in addition to different discount codes that are found online. So enough rambling on. This is amazing. My favorite Kayali, like I said, it is stunning. So the next perfume on my list is Gold by Commodity. Now Commodity is slowly becoming one of my favorite brands ever. I went to their event. I was invited to their event sometime last year and I tried every single one of their perfumes. When I tell you, none of them disappointed me. I was even more like, I need every single one of them. All of their perfumes are great. You will find something for yourself, no doubt about it. I also get a 10% discount code on all of commodity perfumes. You guys can try their discovery set that has all their perfumes. Guys, you will not be disappointed by this brand. Gold to me is a vanilla scent with a lot of sandalwood and some juniper, musky. It is fantastic. It's not vanilla like you know it. It's vanilla with a difference. It's vanilla with a uniqueness to it. It's long lasting. It's amazing. If you wanted a more potent gold just get gold plus if you want a less potent gold just get gold personal if you want something that is a little bit more closer to the skin and i think this one is just perfect between the two it's not too bold and it's not too light it's just stunning so this is gold by commodity and the pricing of this is amazing this is 100 mil and this retails for 120 pounds for 100 mil with my discount code you're spending like 108 pounds free delivery unique smelling perfume i remember buying my burberry hair let me show you I remember buying my Burberry hair and this is 30 mil. This is a designer perfume. I bought this for 68 pounds. 30 mil, 68 pounds, 100 mil uniqueness for 108 pounds. You like, you can't go wrong. When I tell you that you are better off getting more for your money, this is about getting value for money. This is not just about, oh my gosh, there's a new perfume out there. It's a designer perfume. Let me go and buy it. No, think to yourself, I have a hundred pounds to spend. Refer back to this list and do your calculation and see which one is best for you. I would always say, I'm not saying don't buy designer scents, guys, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't buy them. They are great, but some of them are way too pricey. In fact, majority of them are way too pricey for what they are. And gold is fantastic. I will leave everything linked in my description bar below. So once again, this is gold. By commodity the next perfume on my list is roses musk by montal now these perfumes to me they are so cheap like i got mine for like 60 pounds on notino and this is 100 mil 60 pounds 100 mil like you just can't go wrong this is a very rosy synthetic smelling perfume it's like a sugared rose with some musk I love this perfume. It's one of my favorite by, by the brand. I feel like Montal are cost effective when it comes to their perfumes. Even when you buy from their website, you buy 100 mil, they're giving you 220 mils, they're giving you lots of samples, they're, they're just giving you a lot for your money. And you can get this from discounted website. If you live in the UK, you guys know about All Beauty, you can get it from those websites. Like I said, everything will be linked down below for you guys. Roses Musk is amazing. Intense Cafe is stunning. A lot of perfumes from this brand are amazing. I've done a Montal video uh, in the past where I spoke about my favorite Montal perfumes. I will leave it up there in the cards and it will also be down in my description bar below. So once again, this is Roses Musk 
by Montal. So this next perfume is by Guitar Paris and it's called Etoile du Nuit. <laughs> My apologies guys, I do try to get the pronunciation correctly as much as possible but I'm not French. I'm Nigerian British so it's very hard but anyway this is the perfume right here this is one of my favorite scents ever I love a powdery perfume I love a lipsticky type of perfume I like a perfume that gives me a makeup kind of scent and this is the perfume that does all of those things I love I love I love I love this is so inviting this is fantastic if you like perfumes like insolence by Golan you are going to love this and I feel like this is better this is going to blow you away because it blew me away and I love the price this is 50 mil and I got this from I can't remember where but I'll leave it down below in my description bar but I got this and I bought it when there was a 20% discount going at the time yes it was 70 72 pounds for me this is this is great this is great because i got my um my prada paradox for 60 something pounds and prada paradox you know you can smell it on people like it's a popular perfume but this one you can't you will rarely smell this on anybody no one is going to be smelling like you wearing this perfume so once again this is again let me just show you what it is <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to butcher it the second time but it's such a stunning scent and all of the perfumes from this brand in particular are amazing so check them out so the next two perfumes on my list I'm showing two because why not <laughs> it's Shea and Blue London now this perfume brand are incredible honestly their perfumes blows my mind and the pricing is stunning this is their most popular one i would sell it here on youtube this is salt caramel i got this, this is 30 mil this is also 30 mil this is um black tulip this is my favorite because it's a gourmand do you guys know how much i love gourmand perfumes this smells to me like a caramel popcorn like you can't it smells like a real like if you opened a caramel popcorn it smells exactly like this but not as foody smelling if that makes sense still smells like a perfume this is like 20 pounds on asos and you can get this even on Shea and blues blues website and asos i get a lot of perfumes from asos because they ship to a lot of places in and around the world and the shipping time is actually really really good so this is a fantastic perfume it comes in 30 mil i believe 50 and 100 mil but this perfume is so potent you don't need a big size a little goes a long way if you like perfumes like um what about pop and by the house of wood you would love this perfume and this is affordable guys it's affordable the old brand is affordable they have so many perfumes that smells realistic they give me joe malone vibes because joe malone do those kind of realistic smelling perfumes shame that a lot of the perfumes don't last that long but the, the scent profile is normally really good Shea and blue gives me that vibe as well their perfumes are realistic smelling they smell really good you can you can smell the quality in their perfumes and this one i will highly recommend so this is salt caramel by Shea and blue so speaking of joe malone we are going to add joe malone to this list you guys know why because joe malone have perfumes on websites that are way cheaper than their website like i even saw joe malone on tk max last week i saw velvet rose and oud i saw mer and tonka for 70 pounds which was just it blew my mind i didn't buy them because i did not um i didn't need to buy them because i already have those perfumes in my collection but for the sake of this video i'm going to talk about wood sage and sea salt guys this is the perfume i do have a special um limited edition bottle but you can get it um anywhere this perfume it did set me back i did pay a lot for it because the limited edition bottle but the normal um bottle retails for 
like 70 pounds from this website i'm gonna link down below if they still have this in stock if they don't best believe i will link an alternative perfume for you guys and you guys know my recommendation are top notch like i will not i will not lead you guys wrong like never you guys are my people so i'm always gonna bring you the best like i wouldn't talk about perfumes i wouldn't wear myself so i will leave all the links down for you guys this bottle the clear bottles are colognes they are not made to last long, but they smell lovely. <laughs> so a lot of people are like, John Malone is not long lasting. I agree. But these clear bottles are the ones that are not long lasting. They are cologne. They are fresher. This is like, this is like a breezy, like water down the man mountain kind of scent. This perfume is beautiful amazing for the spring and summer this is one i would recommend for a bride as well it just has like a fresh innocent smell to it to me i love it the jo malone's in the darker bottles however like this one is velvet rose and oud these ones are long lasting i promise you you will get amazing longevity from the black bottled ones i will leave this in my description bar below if it's available if it's not i will leave an alternative jo malone i have tested maybe like 90 percent 95 percent of jo, um, jo malone perfumes the clear bottled one the darker bottles one bottled one i've tried them all but these ones i'm telling you are like my absolute favorite i paid a lot of money for these before i realized that hang on a minute i can get it from this place i can get it from that place i can get a discount here i can get a discount there so yeah amazing velvet rose and oud by john malone the darker bottles are way more long lasting than the clara bottles so these are john malone's <laughs> So the next perfume is Skirtso by Mila Aris. And I know you guys are thinking, what is Abby talking about? That is not affordable. But guys, trust me, it's affordable. It's affordable. Remember what I said at the beginning? If you like a perfume, you save up towards getting it. If you want uniqueness, you have to kind of spend a little bit more. But these are affordable for niche perfume. Most niche perfumes are like £200 upward. You guys know about Performance de Mali, Baccarat Rouge, um... What else is there? Penhaligons, all those perfumes are expensive and they are about 200 pounds and up. This isn't. This is 110 pounds if you buy it from the website. I got mine from a different website, affiliated with Mila Aris, of course. And I got a 25% discount at the time. And that was what I spent like 80 something pounds on a 50 ml perfume that lasts long i don't have to spray so much it's gonna stay in my collection longer than a designer perfume that i'm gonna have to spray so much to get that kind of longevity from it and it's gonna finish gonna finish quicker than this one this to me is a stunning rose oud and sweetness if you like oud but you're not sure where to start from this is a good starting point this perfume is going to challenge your nose in the initial five minutes because it is strong it's powerful but in the dry down oh my god oh my god the magic the magic that happens with this perfume blows my mind every time i wear this perfume someone asks me what are you wearing someone a, a lady actually tapped me on the street of knightsbridge to ask me what i was wearing and I had it in my bag at the time because sometimes, guys, when I'm rushing, I would just carry my perfume. I carry my bottle with me and I would just, like, go out with my perfumes. So I was just like, give me one second. Reached into my bag, showed her. She took a picture and she thanked me and she asked if she could spray. I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, Sharon is caring. Have some. <laughs> so this perfume is amazing to me. It's cost-effective for a niche perfume. Even compar comparing it to... A designer perfume it's still affordable it still it makes sense you know it just makes sense so once again this is Skirtso by Mila Aris and the last perfume on my list is Roses Vanille by Mancera a lot of Mancera perfumes are also quite affordable I got this one from Notino I believe this is 100 mil they come in different sizes I believe there's a 50 mil and a 100 mil and this perfume, guys, it's the most 
maybe the one of the most beast mode perfumes in my collection i don't have to take a decan with me when i go out this perfume lasts from morning till the next day it is so long lasting the all scent is written at the time the name of the perfume is roses and vanilla but this is oh, this is a sugared rose again it does smell similar to um roses mask by montal they are like a sister company anyway so a lot of their perfumes not a lot some of the perfumes have some kind of similarity but the most i get from the perfumes is that synthetic almost fake smelling dna which i love like it smells oody it smells rich it smells bright it smells amazing roses vanilla is my favorite from mancera and i got this for like i think it was 60 pounds when i bought it like i said like i've been saying in this video everything everything will be linked down below where you literally click and purchase i will say this I live in the UK and a lot of the links that I do have are from the UK. I will try and get some for you guys that are around the world, Canada, um, America. I will try my best to link those down for you as well. But a lot of the places I buy my perfumes are in the UK. I think I've gotten a perfume out of the UK, outside of the UK one time. I can't even remember. But most of the links will be from the United Kingdom. But I will do my best for you guys to get ones from outside of the country. United Kingdom and Europe as well, actually. So, yeah. Roses Vanille is cost-effective. Lasts long. Smells great. Huge compliment getter. You cannot go wrong. And you can layer this with any roses perfume. Any vanilla smelling perfume. It doesn't need layering though, I must say. But if you're one of those people that want to layer your perfume, layer it more with vanilla, I would say. But you don't need, you don't really need to, to be honest. It is long lasting. It is fantastic. So this is Roses Vanille by Mancera. So my lovelies, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I will leave everything linked in my description bar below. Check out your favorite YouTubers. Check their description bars and see what if they have a discount code for different places i know i have loads i like when you go into my description bar you can see all of the discount codes that i currently have um so you can check those out use them save some coins on this amazing niche perfume so thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye